Gradient masks are a powerful technique that can let us deform objects in interesting ways, such as bending, twisting, and changing proportions, as well as many other uses. In this video I'll show three methods for quickly creating excellent gradient masks within Nomad Sculpt, even on very high poly objects. Method 1 is quickest and easiest, but doesn't allow as much control as the other methods. Choose the mask tool, set the stroke to lock and radius, experiments with different falloffs to achieve sharper or more gradual gradients. Place the brush on the top of your object and drag out. Sometimes it works best if you use a lower intensity but repeat the action several times. Blur the mask a lot afterwards. If you cannot achieve the effect you need you can also add a plane. Place it away from the object then join them together. Begin the mask on the plane and drag. This can create a straighter and more gradual gradient. Method 2 is very controlled, and uses a plane to project a mask onto our object. Turn off perspective. Add a fairly low poly plane that is quite a bit larger than the object we want to mask. In the materials menu set it to additive so we can see through it. Mask it about halfway. Blur the mask. Subdivide the plane and blur again. Do this several times. Add a layer. Use the paint tool and paint all. Clear the mask. We can now position the mask plane exactly where we want it. You can also save this plane as a separate file which can be added to your scene whenever you need a gradient mask in the future. Once the mask is positioned where you need it, go to the layer menu, click the three dots, then click the mask icon next to the color channel. Now select the object you want to mask and go to the MISC menu and the Reproject section. Copy these settings shown on screen exactly. Hide everything in the scene menu except for the object and the mask plane. Make sure that your object is the only thing selected. Now click Reproject, using the settings shown earlier. The gradient mask will be projected perfectly onto and through your object. Blur the mask again several times once it is on the object. You can use the same technique to create any shape mask on a plane and project it onto an object. You can alter the angle and tilt of the plane to get different results. Have fun doing crazy things to your object. Remember that if you want to bend or twist the object it usually works best to use lots of small gizmo rotations rather than doing it all at once. Method 3 works well to produce soft edged masks of a more complex or irregular shape than the previous methods. Clone your high poly object. Remesh the clone at a lower resolution. Any of the remeshing methods can work. Let's use voxel remesh for now. Use the mask brush to create the mask on the lower poly remeshed clone. Because it's lower poly we can use the blur function to create nice soft edges. Subdivide the mesh and blur again. Repeat several times. Now select the high poly mesh and go to the reproject settings. Copy the settings shown exactly. Hide everything except the high poly mesh and the masked clone. Make sure the high poly is selected then click reproject. If both meshes are very high poly this can take some time. Once the mask has been projected onto the high poly, blur it again some more. Once again, have fun doing crazy stuff to your object. I hope you found this video helpful. I am going to try to make Nomad Sculpt tutorials showing tricks and techniques which I haven't seen elsewhere, so please subscribe if that is interesting to you and share the video with others who may find it helpful. See you next time.